Hi, Michelle. Today's Takumi Innovators technology has got something to do with this. He's created an epoch making item, which is this. Can you guess what it is? It's a piston. Let's go meet him. The Takumi's company is in Sagamihara, Kanagawa Prefecture. It is a city where manufacturing flourishes. Hello, I'm Michelle Yamamoto. Hello, I'm Shimodaira. This is today's Takumi, Eiji Shimodaira. The Takumi's company specializes in surface finishing of metal parts. The pride of his work is this aluminum piston. A special surface treatment has been applied. This is the device that applies the treatment. Inside this device, the piston is coated with DLC. DLC stands for diamond-like carbon. It is a method that makes metal surfaces as strong as diamond. First, a piece of metal is fixed in a vacuum furnace. A gas containing carbon is sent in. The gas is electronically broken down and the carbon is given a positive electric charge. At that moment, when the piston is magnetically given a negative electric charge, carbon is attracted to the metal piece. As a result, a flat carbon film forms on the surface. When you incorporate this into an automobile engine, it increases the power, which means it becomes more fuel efficient. Why does it increase in power and become energy efficient when it is DLC coated? A piston moves vertically to create motive power, but due to its structure, it is made to slightly move the neck part. And this creates friction. By reducing the friction, the engine can run smoother, producing more power and better fuel efficiency. That is when the Takumi took notice of DLC coating technology that was already being used on drill bits and scissors. Takumi thought if he used it on pistons, it would make the surface hard and flat and reduce friction. But there was a major problem with that. The engine uses light aluminum metal. DLC coating was originally used for hard metal materials such as iron and stainless steel. But with aluminum being a soft material, it was thought to be unsuitable for DLC use. That was when the Takumi thought of adding a pretreatment. It is a method known as shot peening. Shot peening is a technique where extremely small round metal shot strikes the surface of the metal, increasing its strength. But as aluminum is a soft material, this method was considered unsuitable. But Shimodaira applied a shot peening process deliberately. Then... The surface has a matte finish. What happened to it? This is a 0.8 millimeter small metal ball, which is normally used for shot peening. But the Takumi exchanged that with a 5 micrometer tungsten particle. He thought that by using this material, it should set into the surface of the aluminum. By creating the finest particle possible and impacting the surface at a high speed, I thought that the friction heat caused by the metal balls would mix into the material. This is aluminum that underwent this unique shot peening process. If you take a look at it with an electron microscope, you can see that the tungsten particles are mixed into the surface. 
When tungsten is mixed into the surface of aluminum, the aluminum becomes harder. And the result is that a stable DLC coating became possible. A piston that has been coated with DLC was tested using a motorbike engine. An ordinary aluminum piston had scratches on it, but a DLC coated one had almost no scratches. This is how it looks when enlarged. Friction had been largely reduced. Shimodaira had succeeded in DLC coating aluminum, an achievement that was once considered impossible. We asked him for his thoughts. I knew I had found the answer when I got the idea of shot peening aluminum and then DLC coating it. I intuitively knew that this was it. In recent years, globalization has been much talked about. So small and mid-sized manufacturers must acquire more skills, I think. As for my company, we aim to work in a niche market. This piston is beginning to be used in race cars and its application in consumer cars is expected in the future. I think that Takumi has showed us that there's still room for further development in car engines. You're right. Actually, the engine's basic structure hasn't changed since the beginning. But the steady improvement of power and fuel efficiency relies on the accumulation of technology development. In addition to that, the Takumi's greatness is that he reconsidered the existing technology from a different angle and applied it. Thank you very much, Michelle. So, Dr. Sato, today we covered a story that might change the perception of dinosaur excavation in Japan. Yes, we did. This discovery has the possibility to change the distribution map of dinosaurs in Japan and the world. That might lead to increased scientists and major discoveries in Japan. I'm looking forward to future excavations. Thank you, Dr. Sato. And that's all for Science View. See you next time.